Hello everybody and welcome to another Zabekist Cup of the Day. For those of you who don't know, Cup of the Day is a tournament where we get 10 minutes to practice a map we have never seen before and then 2 minute elimination rounds where the slowest players get eliminated. Today's map is made by Seabad Cruiser. Uh, for those of us who are familiar with Seabad, uh, none of us are surprised to see Bobsled right now because Seabad is uh, the ice bobsled guy. So 10 minutes to figure out how to play this map. Is that a finish? Okay, so that's just a fake finish. Cool. Um, let's see. Which direction are we going? I'm lost. Probably insurance boosters. It's kind of hard to tell if this is all ice or what part of it might be glass or something. Looks like no risky. Alright, so I will say uh, I'm not the best at ice. There, People seem to think I'm good at ice, but that's really... I just grinded T-Lamb and beat that, but I'm not actually that good at ice. That being said, if I can figure out the line, then I might still be able to get some pretty good times. I think I just take a little bit longer to learn ice than some other people. That's an interesting part of the map. Can I loop back around? Thank you. Oh, you do not want to be doing this slowly. That's awful. AT is a 42, and Maki's time right now is a 49. If you think of like Seabad's Mammoth, which is his most popular map, the author time on that is so insane. I think Kern Cobb might have it, or he's close to it. But like the next closest times on GTR are like multiple seconds off. <laughs> Obviously, uh, you know, even Maki's got seven seconds to improve before he gets uh, AT. Do you want to corkscrew that, or do you want to just try to keep traction on the right side? Not entirely sure. Oh, style points, hell yeah. Okay, I think corkscrewing sets you up on the wrong side of that, actually. Because I think you need to be on the left side coming out of it. Whoa. Need to figure out how much I want to steer in that first turn. I think it's just a tap to the left. Oh, that sets you up very far right, though. go much more left, you get some airtime, but then you get a better setup. There we go. Yeah, just stick to the right side there. That's definitely the line. And then I get the fourth and fifth boosters. That one's at the top of that hill. And... Okay, so it's not actually beneficial to go on the side yeah I don't think it's at all beneficial to go on the side unless you somehow have way more speed uh, because you never uh, gain airtime we have a super stacked lobby today also Yancha, Maki, Kurenkov all very good uh historically in Cup of the Days, as well as just a whole bunch of other very strong players. Khan as well in the lobby today. If he was ever to join a Cup of the Day, this is probably the one for him, because he likes his bobsled. <laughs> We're 
Ronan and I having like identical lines there. Neither of them good. Oh, Khan moves a little bit to the right at the beginning. That might be a good idea. Didn't seem to work out for him, but Yanja does it as well. Go a little bit right to push the car to the left. Okay, you still need to turn left like pretty hard though. Yeah, because then you straighten out there. Yeah, and if I could get up onto that early, that seems to be really good. Plus 14 speed, yeah. I still get the final two boosters. Minus one speed. Uh, that should be fairly even speed because you're coming off of that booster hill. Oh dear. Wait, what is that? That's set up along the left. I wanna try to get the downhill section. Okay, I seem to have the first turn figured out. Oh, that was bad. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people who are bad at this track, but also a few people who are really good at this track. Like Kern Cobb, who's two and a half seconds up on second place right now. Owl also passing me there, so I think you can keep uh, above the booster speed. That was pretty nice, except the next corner was not set up super well. And you can probably oh. cut low on the finish, although I'm not sure that's worth the extra oscillation. dear. Okay. As I said, I'm not super great at ice. One sixty one speed. Let's remember to keep track of speeds. Not entirely sure how to like guarantee that you maintain uh, contact with the driving surface. Fifty two speed at the top. That was super smooth compared to last time around. Plus seven speed. Not even sub fifty though. That becomes a bit of a problem. Um in two minute rounds. Because a 50 second time doesn't really give you time to reset and still get two runs. Oh, interesting, that was a corkscrew. Yeah, it pushes you the wrong direction. I think I'm seeing some people take the start like to the right also. I don't know if that's better. Owl does that. It seems like the fast players are doing that. Owl, Maki. Maki and uh, Yanja in front of me. Yeah, setting up left. To do kind of that. Potentially final run here of the warm up round. I'm not entirely sure what that line is. It's a little nerve-wracking being this low um, in the leaderboard in the warm-up round, although, like I said, this is a super stacked lobby today. There we go. Keep it. Just steer hard to the left. Sets you up a little questionable for the next oh. section.
All right, here we go. Good luck, have fun. Oh, that's a sick podium. Nice. Oh, current cop just got annihilated by a bunch of cars. Okay. Keep it to the left. Oh, not that far left. So nerve-wracking to essentially not have a second run. Okay, I'm just going to go with the way I'm used to it so that I get a finish on the first uh, round. I can be much faster. Forty-five is the best time right now. Still nowhere near author time. So painfully slow at the top. Little bit of air. I really think I just need to finish. Ugh. 49.9 is okay. There's a lot of people in the 50s. I need to figure out this first turn. I shouldn't be looking at the leaderboard. Not entirely sure how going left there is any faster. Or going right, whatever. I'm, I'm actually not even sure what I did in that first round. Only 150 speed, kind of sucks. Airtime definitely sucks, and sliding out is just bad. I guess I'll take it. 156 speed is not amazing, but I really just need a time. Oh, this is so awful. Re I'm resetting. I might be out here, though. That's even slower. That was decent. Still quite a lot of DNFs. Oh, what was that bounce? That sucked. At least the rest of this run is fairly smooth. There's still a bunch of DNFs. Ooh, not, not as many anymore, but 57 is the lowest time. 51 is really bad. It's 26th, actually. Like I said, I am not good on ice. Only two DNFs there. Which would put me on pace to be out in the next round. Let's see if I could get this line that the... Uh, other other guys are doing. Oh. Yeah, like that, but without whacking into the the lag tight or whatever. Oh. 
or the road piece. There we go, 162 speed, bad setup for that. Let's just get a time. This is not very good at all. Might make a judgment call to reset. Some 52s on the table. I'll just go three with this. I like the ending of this track. I just don't like the rest of it. Thirteenth somehow. I, th I suspect there may be quite a, a lot of time um, at the very top of that hill because you're going so slow. If you can carry like one more speed out of that, uh, you might be able to save a lot of time. Marky's AFK, cool. Well, you pros are not helping me at all here. Fifty ones getting eliminated. I could be sub fifty, that would feel good for now. One sixty three. Oh, and I messed it up. Okay, a spin is not going to keep me in. Oh. Oh, that turned way too hard. Should be people resetting around me. I don't know, these guys just get that first turn so clean. That's only 157 speed. Oh, that was about as smooth as I've done that. Fifty threes all right there. Let's just get a finish. It's all I need, I think. Ooh, 14th. This is the most stressful cup of the day I've had in a really long time. Khan's still in it as well. Like I said, he likes his bobsled tracks. No, I turned too much. I had it set up and then I overcorrected to the right. And then I did the same thing that time. And then I went too far to the left. I hate this first turn. That was kind of slow, but I think I'll take it. 159's not too bad for me there. That's not good. 
What are the times? 50s? I, yeah, I need a better... I need a better start. Shoot! Oh. Right, that might be it. I'm out. GG. Forty four five is kind of what I've been seeing for the best times, which is still two seconds off of other time. Okay. Uh, hi guys. Um, welcome back. Uh, I got kicked from the lobby because I'm too bad at this game. Anyway, let's see who's uh, coming into the end. Caught people at the end of their first runs. Current cop 43.9. I think that's the best I've seen uh, in this lobby. Of course, still a second and a half off of Seabad's. Um, Seabad's time. Let's start a cup of the day mod, which is going to be all screwed up. So once again, ignore the leaderboard, just like last week. I've messed up the leaderboard. Ignore that. It's top, uh, let's see, top 13 advance, I think. Which means Khan is in a bad spot at the moment. Just kind of watching the end because I want to see the people that are getting times right now. Here comes Shadily, currently does not have a time. And goes uh, slowest so far. So I think Shadily is out. Ronan remains in, which is good because I had to distract him to get the room code. So I'm glad I didn't completely ruin that run. Khan in 16th at the moment. I think on the verge of being in. We'll see uh, when the Cup of the Day mod does its thing. No, Khan is out, so that was... Uh, 16th was not safe, apparently. Um, yeah, my, my Cup of the Day mod's gonna be all messed up. My uh, leaderboard, rather, is gonna be all messed up. So, just ignore that. I'm gonna keep the Cup of the Day mod running because uh, it does help filter out some stuff on the leaderboard. But it's not great. This round in particular is going to be really bad because there's a bunch of spectators. Maki has just pulled away from everybody else by a, a mile. 44.7 for just Maki. Yanja Hydro coming in with 48. Let's take a look at what Maki's doing. Super clean beginning. This is the best I've seen because, well, I I do not do the beginning well. Yeah, it just looks super clean. Getting the better lines. I, I could see, well, I, maybe not the first loop, but for the most part, I feel like I could see where the lines were. I just couldn't get them. Also, he's got 20 more speed than the boosters give you at the top of that hill, uh, which does mean you have to go to the sides there, whereas I was just able to drive straight off without... Uh, gaining any airtime. Does not improve his time, but I think that was another 44. Uh, which still would have been best out of uh, anybody in this round. What is the eliminations right now? Top 11 advance. Two eliminations per round. Top 11 advance. That puts YOLO and Otis in the elimination zone as time runs out. So yeah, my, my leaderboard is wrong. I'm like kind of around behind based on my leaderboard. 
So yeah, that is Otis and Yolo out. Top nine advance in this round. Looks like pretty similar uh, lines for everybody at the beginning there, except for Ronan, who has gone way off on the oscillation there. I think everybody wants to be doing the same line, but uh, their oscillations are not exactly the same. Kern Cobb getting airtime, but jumping to the side so that he gets pushed back to the left to set up for the next turn. Uh, however, Maki's way of not gaining airtime, I think, is getting him speed, although he did get a little bit of a bounce on one of those tube transitions. And current cop goes 44.3. I think the best I've seen is a 43.9. Uh, so that is a pretty good time. Let's see where Ronan is. He is at the start. Oof. Okay. That cameras do not like this. Ronin is currently eliminated. This is his final run. Top uh, nine advance. So 10th and 11th will be eliminated. St. Nicholas, the other person in a bit of trouble. And Ronin is essentially out because I don't think you can do that and get a, a sub 50. So GG's to Ronin. Shout out to him for getting me the room code as fast as he did to let me pack in. Let's come around to the finish. Uh, St. Nicholas does improve his time, which knocks Alex out in 10th place. The two of them trading 9th and 10th throughout that whole round. Ronan sneaks across the finish for a 52.1. That was more along the lines of what I was doing most of this cup. I love this podium. This is this is my new favorite podium in this entire game. Top nine. Now, uh, oh, can I get just on somebody? Ron just Mackey, apparently. Wow, this is this camera angle does not do much for us does it <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of people clustered on top of each other maki has 79 speed at the top again with the booster that's about 52 53 so it, it there's definitely were more along the line of insurance boosters rather than boosters you were supposed to be getting uh, which means i was doing something very wrong at the beginning because i was not getting anywhere near that speed as Maki puts down a 44 second time, two seconds ahead of the next closest in this round. Uh, let's go to Kern Cobb, who does not have a time yet. I don't know if something went wrong at the end of that first run, because he's resetting kind of along with everybody else here. Uh, but he is in a bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, has 160 speed, so th that's where uh, I was having some issues, as I was in the 140s, I think. Uh, Kern Cop gets 160 and only has 70 speed at the top of the hill, so still well off of just Maki, but probably enough to beat uh, the 49 second times at the bottom of the leaderboard there. It is top 7 advance, so again, ignore what my leaderboard is telling you. 8th and 9th get eliminated in this round. Kern Cobb coming to the finish should have a pretty good time here. Goes 45.5, third place. Just Maki sets what I believe is a world record outside of author time. With a 43.888. And it looks like it's Zivsef and St. Nicholas eliminated. Uh, yeah, I'd be lucky to find any of them. Uh, St. Nick. Not going to finish that run. And we are down to the top seven. The cars that get shot through the podium are smaller than the cars that are on the podium also. Which is hilarious to see. Alright, let's watch cars come around this first loop. Everybody with fairly similar lines. Hydro gets on the uh, outside of that section. I don't know what to call these. Tubes, I guess? Half pipes, tubes. Not sure what the uh, term I should be using here is. Kern Cobb comes out in the lead. I don't know when load-in times uh, factor into that. Owl goes straight down the middle as everybody else is going to the side. 
Could be he thinks that's faster in the long run. Could be he was just on a slower time and it would have uh, slower speed. It would have taken longer for him to get to the outside for not as much gain. Current Cobb sets a new world record, 43.639. N none of these are like technically world records because uh, the author time is a 42.486. Uh, but that's Seabat on ice for you. He'll just be way faster like that. Uh, let's try to find some of these players who are uh, eliminated at the moment. Yanja gets a time, but that's only 7th best. I'm going to keep an eye on him because he has reset with enough time for another run, but it's not necessarily a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed to get a finish. Although if he gets out of the elimination zone, which is right now 6th and 7th get eliminated, he would need a 46 uh, flat to get out of the elimination zone, uh, I think, yeah. And if he gets that, then he should uh, be able to get to the finish in time. I believe there is about 46 seconds left when he reset. He's not on the fastest of runs here. Only three seconds left, he's not going to get there. I don't think that was 46 pace anyway, maybe a low 46 at best. So Yanja is out, as is Reed Freak. Top 5, Current Cobb, just Mackie, Froggy, Owl, and Hydro. Again, ignore the leaderboard because it's kind of behind by a round. We're seeing Owl and uh, Hydro, I believe that is, pull ahead at the beginning. Maki must have gone for an early reset. I know Froggy loads in later than the rest of them, so the fact that they are catching the rest of the pack is a very good sign. Owl still goes straight down the middle there, so he must think that's faster. Current Cobb and Froggy passing him on the right side, though. And Current Cobb is on an absolutely great run by the looks of things. Absolutely flying around the final corner. The first time's coming in a 43.8. Uh, Froggy also in the 43s. I said that looks like a good run, and it was. Just Maki does not have a time yet. Hydro, uh, currently the other player, sort of in trouble because if Maki gets a good time, which he's likely to do, then Hydro would be out right now. It is top four advance. Hydro and Owl probably want to improve their times. I think Owl got a little bit of a bounce. Uh, coming up this hill, it does seem like Hydro is pulling away by a tiny bit. Hydro again going for the side. Owl the only person going down the middle still. And Hydro is definitely pulling away. Just Maki does set a time, but it's only a 45.3. Just good enough for fourth, but I don't think Owl is on a time that would pass that at the moment. So he should be safe. Oh no, Owl does get it. Passes Just Maki and knocks him out by a margin of two hundredths of a second. So Just Maki knocked out in fifth place. Kern Cobb, Froggy, Hydro, and Owl at the top four. That leaves Kern Cobb as the only remaining Cup of the Day winner out of the the player out of the remaining players. <laughs> Froggy, Hydro, and Owl have not won Cup of the Day yet. I think this might be Owl's best finish. Froggy and Hydro have both finished third before. We see how they do coming out of the first loop. A couple of people being a little bit further to the right side of the track uh, than normal, I think, there. Uh, although that did not set them up too poorly for the next section. Kern Cobb, uh, I believe, has already passed the... Oh, no. Where is Kern? Kern may be reset. Owl is definitely the slowest of this group of people. Hydro and Froggy going very fast. And again, Froggy loads in later. So Froggy is on the fastest run here by a long shot, I believe. Hydro on a pretty good run as well. And Owl seemingly on a very slow run. Let's see where Kern Cobb is. He's coming down the hill. I trust that Kern's on a good run because uh, he is good at ice. So let's go over... Two Owl, let's see what they can do. At the beginning here, 163 speed is pretty good by my standards, although I'm not entirely sure uh, what is expected there. 
gets a decent run through that sort of strange tube intersection thing. But he needs a 45.6 and he only has 53 speed. I believe Owl is actually just out with this because I was running 53 speed at the top of that hill for most of my runs and getting uh, 49 at best. So I believe Owl is out. Kern Cobb, Froggy, and Hydro, the top three. Kern Cobb seemingly the favorite being the already four-time Cup of the Day winner, as well as one of the best uh, players on ice in this game right now. Uh, although Froggy puts down a 43.9, and I must say they've been putting down very good times in the past three rounds. Hydro, another uh, sort of ice master of recent days. Kern Cobb and Hydro, of course, uh, collaborating on a lot of challenging ice maps. So we get into the top three. Froggy loading in a little bit later. All going for fairly similar lines through there. All looking quite similar so far. I think Hydro had a little bit less oscillation at the uh, top of that half pipe section. And it the other two are catching up. Uh, and Froggy actually goes for a reset. Although, if you've uh, seen in the final few rounds, I think Hydro seems to be the clear third fastest. Kern Cobb and Froggy have both been putting around 44 flat, if not 43 times. Hydro's been sticking around more than 45s. And we're kind of seeing that here with Kern Cobb pulling ahead, and a 43.3, which is the best I have seen in this tournament so far. Froggy goes for another reset. He's behind Kern and Hydro now as they uh, do their resets off of their first finish. And let's see if Froggy likes this run. Gets a good line there, 164 speed is uh, very good at the bottom of that hill, and gets a pretty good um, oscillation through that next section. 160 something speed there is very fast. Let's see what they get at the top of this hill. Is 81, which is actually super quick. This is probably 43 pace. And unless Hydra is improving, uh, they only need a 45.5. A little bit of lag, but that won't affect the time. Kern Cobb improves again to a 43.174. And Froggy, a 44.1 that will knock Hydro out. So Hydro with third place finish. I think that's his second, although it might be his first podium finish. I'll have to check the stats, uh, which I do have linked in the description below if you want to see uh, Zapekiss Cup of the Day results and stats. I'll shout that out now as we're waiting for the rounds to end. Froggy with a personal best already of a second place finish looking to perhaps upset Kern Cobb who was my pick at the beginning of this cup of the day for who I thought would win it knowing that Seabad was most likely going to make an ice map and um, Kern Cobb looking good on the ice so far and looking super fast in these last couple rounds Froggy I think is a little bit faster on the start there although Kern Cobb gets better oscillation and I think he's going to start to pull away and Froggy goes for the reset let's see Kern Cobb also goes for the reset this is intense times in the finals here. Kern Cobb looking to win his fifth. That would tie him with Yanja and Zoman for the second most Cup of the Day wins in Zavka's Cup of the Day. Seems to get good oscillation there. I think Froggy went for another reset. 77 speed. I've seen Froggy in the last round have 81. And this, it is, uh, Kern Cobb is not going to get a second run if he finishes this one. Maybe. Actually, he might have time. This is not the greatest run for Kern Cobb, though, as it is a 44.4. Um, let's see where uh, Froggy is. Uh, Froggy. Okay, so this is final run for Froggy. And I think, uh, I'm not entirely sure what this time is going to be. It's very close, and it's a 44.1 taking the lead. And Kern Cobb is not on a run, so Froggy gets their first Cup of the Day win. I add them to the honestly kind of small list of players that win Cup of the Days. Kern Cobb denied. Froggy beats the 
sort of new king of ice on the ice map. So congratulations to them. And thank you all for watching. And I'm, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep doing these videos, but it seems like they keep coming. So hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.